covered already today a repeated times you have heard the term mar and mook m a r mar and m w o c mook so right now uh, the mook coordinator sir roshinji prof is here he sir is going to explain you the in detail about what is mook and what you can how you can use this platform sir लाइक टू Welcome to all of you at the NCK Pre Academy. So you have already heard the MOOCs from the training and placement officer as well as the dean of academic academics. So here I will discuss only how what are the facilities of MOOCs are available and from where you can get these MOOCs courses. MOOCs means massive open online courses. Massive open online courses. Open means anybody can do these courses, and online means these courses are you have to do in online mode, in outside of the traditional offline mode, without any class. You uh, in uh, without present in normal classes. It will this type of courses you have to do. in online from your home from uh, traveling in a bus like this you can do this uh, courses it is an online education system and the aim of this moocs is it is a large scale interactive participation to the users using the web that means in online mode so the various features like video study materials quizzes online exams these are the uh, available like the traditional education systems in this moocs courses but everything is in online mode the moocs uh any as we have told that uh, it is a massive online courses so any number of user can register in a single moocs program there may be different moocs courses and in a single course any number of students so uh, participants can register they can get the credit they can afford the open uh, space to learn something from outside of your institute from some eminent teachers of some reputed institutions also so the learners can use this moocs courses online in any time irrelevant of time people have no access to formal higher education can participate also so if you have no higher education courses that that means any class 8 class 10 class 7 students may also get them this moocs courses it is informal and can be organized easily the moocs courses are informal that means any number of uh, there are several numbers of courses are available you may choose any courses what you want to learn irrespective of department you are computer science no need to learn everything from the computer science you may learn anything from the electrical engineer also so learning will be possible from the collaboration of learners and instructors in a single course there are several learners and the instructors also the communication between those learners and the instructors are also happening in a moocs courses it supports for your career opportunities in case suppose there are x uh, for example there are in with respect to computer science the phd course is not available into your curriculum in that case how you will learn this phd course in which your company needs from you so you may go through this moocs courses you may learn this phd courses you may get the certificate and you can present to the your company that yes i am the i have learned this phd and the company or the uh, nptel gave me 
these certificates. So this is the another facility. These are opportunities from the MOOCs. Enrollment is open to anybody in the world. No fee to the credential and no credential needed. If you want to learn something from these MOOCs courses, it is free. In case of NPTEL, it is free. But if you want to get a certificate from the IITs, etc., in that case, you have to appear their assessment. This is, there are two types of assessment. One is uh, weekly based assessment, another is uh, final assessment. As well as you have to appear, uh, uh, you have to register yourself by giving a little amount of money also to get the certified. But if you want to learn only, no need to certificates, then any course you can enroll. So as per AICT, we know that the BTEC program is with 160 credit points in the entire four years. You can get this 160 credit points into your curriculum in our website also. But AICT have added an addition of 20 credit points that you need to achieve through these MOOCs courses. And if any student achieved these 20 credit points, he will be benefited with an honors degree. So BTEC with honors in electrical engineering, BTEC with honors in computer science engineering, like this, the uh, honors degree may benefit you. So how this honors degree will be benefited? If when uh, you are, I think, uh, the third or fourth batches, which are running with this MOOCs uh, with this additional MOOCs curriculum and when you will come outside uh, after four years uh, all of your uh, all of other uh, candidates of different colleges are uh, all over India all are BTA but if there are a little bit of uh, students who are get honors degree that means they have learned something more than the normal BTEC students so obviously these points will have uh, will uh, give give them a benefit to their uh, jobs or any other prospectors so this creates an excellent opportunity for the students to acquire the necessary additional skill set for the employability also MOOCs there are some on uh, the MOOCs courses you may get add these courses into the MAR points also so uh, respective MAR Spock will teach, uh, will talk about this. You will get this information from him also. So in India, the SOAM is such type of platform which appears in which the it is a MOOCs platform, and this platform has been launched in 2016 by MHRD, Ministry of Human Resources. In India, there is only one MOOCs platform, the name is SOYAM. It is initiated by Government of India and achieved three cardinal principles of education policy, access, equity, and quality. These three cardinals are effective for the MOOCs courses. It provides the best learning resources to all. It seeks to bridge the digital divide. Also, additionally, the SOYAM Prova is another educational TV channel which is launched already in M by MHRD under the DTH platform. So, SOAM education is one stop web and mobile based internet TV content for all courses. These MOOCs courses under the SOAM you can access through your mobile also. High quality learning experience, multimedia, or anything anywhere basis you may get these SOAM courses. State of art system that allows easy access monitoring and certification. So these courses are uh, these features of the SOAM helps you to easy access of your courses. The peer group interaction and discussion will clarify your doubts in through the forum. Hybrid mode of delivery, that is equality of classroom teaching in the video and uh, multimedia options are also available into this SWAM features. So these four approaches have the uh, need to 
be an in his uh, MOOCs platform that also appears that also have available under the SOAM. First one is e-tutorial. These are available for each and every courses. E-contents are available. The discussion forums are available and the assessment methods are also available. Here I have told you that the assessment method is two types. One is weekly basis. Weekly basis after each and every week, there are some uh, questions. You have to appear on that questions through, through online. And another is the proctored exam. After completion of the final exam, final uh, course, after the uh, learning the, all the videos, you have to appear into a final examination that will give you certificates after successful completion. So these are the national coordinators available into the SOAM program. SOAM, uh, these coordinators are different according to their courses. In our engineering department, in our engineering courses, the NPTEL, National Program on Technology Enhanced Learning, NPTEL is one of the coordinators who are responsible for engineering courses. That's why here we are allowed you only the MOOCs courses to do from the NPTEL, not any other coordinators. NPTEL is an initiative by the uh, seven IITs and IISC Bangalore for creating online courses content in the field of engineering and technology. It is a project offering courses through SOAM online platform. AICT also introduced these MOOCs courses in the new curriculum of engineering and suggests to take online courses from the NPTEL. These are the different disciplines which are available under this NPTEL. So these are the engineering courses and you may choose any type of uh, courses from this under this NPTEL irrespective of your department. So in the computer science, if you need to know something from the economics, so you can learn it from this NPTEL, which is outside of your curriculum. The duration of this NPTEL is, that means they have two semesters in, in every year. First one is July, uh, first one is January to April or June. And second one is July to December. So in case of January, which the semester starts from January, it will, uh, the registration or enrollment process will start from November or December. In case of July, the registration process will start from May or June. So you, you will get to join in the NPTEL in this, in these two times only in a year. And they have, different types of courses, four weeks course, eight weeks course, and 12 weeks courses. So some courses which have taken four weeks only, some courses which have eight weeks on only, and some courses which have 12 weeks only. Online courses.nptel.ac.in. This is one of their website. Otherwise, you may go to the uh, Google or type uh, SOAM NPTEL, they will give you another uh, link, but both are going to the same thing. So after they enroll your, uh, your name into the NPTEL, any courses, so it is free. But uh, if you need to get a certificates from some IITs, here I have given you a sample of the certificates where the, some IIT faculty members have been uh, signed here and you will get this certificate after finishing the proctored exam after finishing the proctored exam to get certificate you have to appear into this examination of psv otherwise you will you can learn you can get access every program every videos but you cannot get the certificates so the, there are uh, so many in PTEL uh, views and there are million number of views of this NPTEL YouTube channels and uh, 54,000 plus hours of video contents are available into the, UP, uh, into the YouTube NPTEL channels. You may check this YouTube channel for your 
self study besides this uh, courses nptel is uh, have an fee waiver scheme and nptel uh, offers a reimbursement of 50 percent of total registration fee of only online courses for some students who have who are needy on basis of that so many of our students have previously got this facility and they have been selected for this uh, facility for on basis of the needy people also. The participant can avail this scheme by submitting the required document to the SWOC of the local chapters, our uh, colleges and local chapter. And uh, you, when this type of information will be waiver information will be on, you will get the information and you will have to uh, submit your documents. NPTEL has its own policy to select the participant for fee waiver. In case of fee waiver, NPTEL has own policy. We could not hamper their, their policy. We did not uh, know their, their policy. We have to suggest, we have to uh, recommend your name to the NPTEL for a fee waiver. They will think that you are eligible or not. NPTEL has initiated translation. And this is another initiative of NPTEL that they have taken some courses in translation in 11 different languages this type of language bengali hindi gujarati assamese kannada etc etc so you may get these courses uh, which have been already translated under the nptel translation pages and these courses are free you can download those translations and you can read it before you for example C, uh, C++, this type of courses, I think, are available nowadays into under, into, uh, also uh, engineering mathematics are also available in the NPTEL translation. Uh, those translations you may download and may study yourself. And MCKB Institute of Engineering is uh, also partnering with NPTEL since May 2016 as a local chapter out of 5,000 colleges and till it is an active local chapter. Like all other local chapters of Eastern region, our college is guided by IIT Kharagpur through the SPOC. Our college encourages our students to enroll in NPTEL online courses and provide assistance to register and seat for online examinations. Each and every year, uh, more than 300 students registered for the examination and successfully completed their courses. Many of them become the topper also in the national level, not in the IIT Kharagpur level or not in the Eastern Zone level. MCKV Institute of Engineering has rated A based on performance of NPT and online courses in 2018. This remarkable achievement placed our college in the top 100 colleges in the India. This was in the record of 1, 2018. So how you will get these 20 credit points? The rules is like this. If the uh, program is for a four-week course, in case of NPTEL, if the program is for four-week course, then we can achieve a one credit points. If the program is for eight-week course, then you can get a credit of two credit points. If you do, do a course on the NPTEL or uh, 12 hours course, then you can get a credit points of three. If you get a 16 uh, week course, then you will get be benefited of four credit points. So such a way in these credit points will be added into your uh, curriculum uh, with the in addition of your MOOCs, in addition of your curriculums in under the MOOCs courses. So when you will get uh, 20 credit points at that time, you may you may be eligible to uh, get the BTEC with honors. Here is the link of our uh, website where you can get these guidelines, which is available into this, uh, which is available of your MOOCs guidelines. So uh, students, every day you can learn something new um, to you if you want to listen and keep in mind that the hard work never does the kind uh, uh, does does the kill to a man but rather the laziness may kill a man 
and uh, to so look forward and go ahead to see your new world and the, my best wishes is always to be with you finally uh, if you have any question you may ask me sir we have to uh, collect 160 credit points your 160 for... credit point this is in your curriculum if uh, to get a success in fourth year you must have to this 160 curriculum uh, under the curriculum no need to think about 160 point you have to it, it will automatically you will be over when you will pass one semester by semester you have to think only this 20 MOOCs credit points which you will get from the NPTA and Sir. one point I just added to you that I will uh, send you a telegram channel a telegram link through your HOD and uh, coordinators and or madams uh, if you join through this channel you will get the latest information of the NPTEL enrollment examination etc etc of their events from uh, in time on time basis uh, from which semester or year we can enlist in MOOC anytime you can join now but uh, uh, NPTEL is uh, not open for this semester at that present from November onwards the role enrollment will be start so uh, can you sharing the um, can you sharing the credit points of M NPTEL Ajay, if it is a four credit four week course then the credit point is one if it is a eight credit for eight week courses then the credit point is two if it is a 12 week courses the credit point three and if it is 16 or more weeks then it is four sir how many courses we have to uh, complete it to achieve the 20 credit points it depends on you if you do a one credit points then it will be 20 courses if you take the four credit points courses that is 16 week courses then it will need five uh, courses Sir, we can choose any is it for a year, sir, or four years? It is four years. Duration is four years. Sir, um, uh, like, uh, is it necessary to complete all the courses within four years or in a single year also? You cannot uh, give the exam more than one, more than two program in a semester or in a uh, in a single time because NPTEL organizes two days examination on basis of e in each and every semester so in these two days you can give maximum of two uh, examinations so you cannot get the whole uh, credit points in a single year okay sir thank you sir are certificates necessary to get the credit points yeah obviously so then we need to pay some fees to get the certificate yes uh, normally nptel uh, normally nptel uh, takes uh, 100 1000 rupees uh, or 1 uh, 1100 rupees uh, for each and every courses it may be 1000 or 1100 1100 for single course or total course for single course sir the registration fee is free but uh, the exam fees is like Thousand or eleven hundred. Hmm. This is the exam fees as well as registration means you are registered for the. This exam. is for certificate. Yes. Sir, if it is a one credit point course, then we have to apply five times a year. No, in a year you can get only four days. In a semester, NPTEL gives you two days for examination. So you have only four days for a year. So five exam you cannot give in a year. Sir, you have told there are 20 credit points for online courses, but you showed that there are four credit points for NBTL online course. Okay, but what about the other? The four credit points for a single course. You may do different type of course, so for uh, the that courses credit points will be added if you do 16 weeks four courses of 16 weeks so each and every course carries four credit points 
So four forces means four cross four. That is sixteen credit points. You have to I have to join five courses, right? Yes. If it is uh, four credit point courses. Next, like, sir, if uh, if I complete uh, four credit point course uh, in in a semester, then I have to give the exam of uh, that course in that semester only. Yes. You cannot skip the okay. semester. I think uh, there is no more questions. So finally, I would like to wish everyone a good time on this celebration. Wish you a happy Durga Puja. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you, sir. Happy Durga Puja. Thank you, sir. 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 You can any time and every time they are accessible. That means you have just to get registered and you can learn any courses from the ample of courses are there. You just today you can search the NPT site. You will get a number of courses, a couple of courses on different subjects are there. <clears throat> but yes, for registration or for finally exam or to get a certificate to get the points, you have to appear for the examination. And we can plan like that each year. I am, uh, I can do two courses. So accordingly, it's not that much tough. That in one year you have to complete all the twenty points. So each year or each semester, if you can prefer to do one more courses, then it will be okay to acquire the credit points.